guys, how's it going, Laura, with Garden Answer? We're here at the Northwest Flower and Garden Festival in Seattle, Washington, and I'm here with John from Hartley Botanic. Hello. And if you didn't know, Hartley Botanic builds the most amazing greenhouses. It's a greenhouse that is on my bucket list. It's like a luxury greenhouse, one of the most beautiful ones I have ever seen. In fact, I was just telling John, uh, Aaron and I went to England 2015. I walked through one that I thought one day I want to have one of these. And then, like years later, I see it in your catalog. I'm like, I was in one of your greenhouses. Amazing. Yeah. So yeah. it was so exciting to so excited to see them here. And so I thought it would be fun for John just to take us through and talk to us about the greenhouses because I think you guys will love it. Sure. So take it away, John. Yeah, sure. Um, so this one is a villa model, actually, and it was designed for a customer in Newport Beach, California. So it actually has a, the villa has, it's made out of aluminum with stainless hardware. And it has a certain amount of venting that's already included in it. If you walk in, I'll show you all the accessories. Um, so it has these types of levers, classic lever designs to be able to open and close these front uh, windows. I love those. The look of them. Yeah, Looks and really um, and also the handmade spandrel. Everything here is, to this day, still handmade in England. So you know they they had a choice to go with machinery or be robotic, just like everybody else, and they have chosen to still make everything handmade to this day. So that's what makes Hartley Botanic unique in mm -hmm. itself. Now in Manchester, right? Right, yeah, just uh, just north of Manchester. I yeah. wish I would have known that. I would have loved to tour the facility, yep. maybe one day. Yeah, and, <laughs> and so as you see too, I mean, we have uh, blind systems that are in here so that if it gets really hot outside or you have a lot of sun, our blinds will deflect that and diffuse the light. Mm -hmm. And um, you also have these benches that are, that are made per size, per order, and these ones are are actually powder coated in a forest green to actually blend in with the plants so you don't see them as much as the frame itself as being white. So are these customizable as well, like yep. in terms of color? And yep. So you, you were telling me earlier that your most popular colors are white, black, and forest and green. Forest green. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you see the most of, do you think? Um, forest green is what I see a lot Really? Of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the wrap. I don't know if you guys noticed the wrap around the outside, around the bottom um, is brick. And this is actually the exact, like the exact look that I would love to have in a greenhouse right here. But you can do like anything that you want out there. Yep. River rock. Yep. Or I've seen, I've seen river rock, like you've said. I've seen stone. I've seen distressed wood. I've seen stucco. So it really depends on your home, your model, the way that you want it to look. And uh, we, we actually design it around that. So, so it really blends in. It looks like a cohesive. Yep. Like there was an idea and a plan behind right. what your greenhouse looks like there is there is not one greenhouse that is the same for anybody that we've done it's always something is different mm. uh, a bench might be different uh, extra venting might be different shelving so everything is unique for every customer wow and now I'm noticing the vents on the top mm -hmm. how do those open do you have to have electricity for that no so those are a mineral wax system that actually expands and contracts with the heat outside and it's actually set at a certain degree temperature that we do uh, when we get there, but between 55 to 60 degrees. So uh, you don't need any electricity, which is pretty neat. So it does it all on its own. Yep. And what would you say, I think for me, I think one of my first questions to you was about the glass. Like how hard is this glass to maintain? Sure, yeah, I mean, it's, it's really not that hard to maintain. I mean, it is a tempered glass throughout the system. So, you know, there are options of how you can clean it. One mm -hmm. is having somebody come out and squeegee it mm. and use a spongy and so on and so forth. Or the other option is is, is getting a self-cleaning glass. So that's another option. That Aaron, I like. want the self-cleaning glass <laughs> <laughs> one day. <laughs> so, so if you walk through on this one, this one is unique in design because we added another door to it. So because I we like had the that. pergola attached, so it made sense to be able to walk through. And I as love you walk this. through, it's an aluminum pergola. <clears throat> with solid cast aluminum columns. So, it, you know, a lot of people think at first it's wood and it's not. It actually is aluminum to match the greenhouse and last that lifetime right. that it's supposed to. Built to, to last. Yep. Now, are these customiz customizable too? Like, can you get them yep. as big or as small as you yep. want? 
So in terms of sizes, I know you guys have several different lines and mm -hmm. there's different looks. So you don't have to necessarily do like traditional greenhouse like this. There are like more some more modern and yep. clean, oh, yeah. I guess, lines. Square designs, if uh -huh. you will, modern contemporary lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like I said, everything is made per order. Mm -hmm. So you can go with our standard models or you can have one made just to what you're looking for in particular size. And what is it called when you build it onto a house? What is that term again? like uh, an abutting greenhouse yes. yeah when it attaches to it yep. so you can do that as well i saw a lot of people had them built onto their homes and i think that would be amazing as well yeah you, we call them either a budding greenhouse or a lean to or a mm -hmm. three-quarter lean to there's so many different styles but mm -hmm. yep yep and then something else too um so the accessories for the top mm -hmm. like you can get different finials right or yep. like there's that i don't know what it's called but it's, it's that like beautiful, spike finials oh yeah yeah like all that detail oh, i yeah. love that yep and in terms of price, so I know that you can um, request a quote. Is that the best way? Because they're so customizable and so different based on size. Yeah, and definitely request a quote, but I would say that these are considered the upper echelon of greenhouses, mm -hmm. Rolls Royce of greenhouses, if For you will. Sure. Mm -hmm. So, you know, these are a handmade product. So it, with that comes uh, the higher end price with sure. our models. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you had to pick a couple, like your favorites, Mm -hmm. out of the whole line what would they be i would probably say the manor is my favorite size and that size is 13 feet six inches wide by about 27 feet long that's a nice size okay guys so i think that's it i just wanted you to see this greenhouse because i've talked about it before quite a bit we've showed pictures um you will hear about it again because like i said it's on my bucket list I'm saving up, like it might be a couple of years, but there will be one of these on my property one day. <laughs> hey, I appreciate you guys coming out and looking at our greenhouse too, to recognize the brand of what we were bringing to the US as uh, more more people get to see it, you know, mm -hmm. and understand what is available out there because people don't know. When they come here, they're like, oh my gosh, this is a greenhouse, mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, you there's know? been people just like clustered around this. It's just such a draw. I don't know, it's a beautiful structure, yeah. so anyway. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks, John, for taking the time Thank to you. do this today. Thank and we you. will see you guys in the next video. Bye.